Welcome to another media TV. Get the news that matters. The challenges we are facing in Nigeria is a man-made disaster. It's a failure of leadership. From the federal government to state government to local government. It's the combination of conspiracy of leadership that led us to where we are today. Virtually every sector of the economy has collapsed. Mm -hmm even though they inherited a collapse system. But they apply for the job from the same party. And there was no creativity in times of rejiggling the economy, rejiggling the policy and creating deterrence. They are aware that the country had been looted out before taking over. We never had it in the history of Nigeria, the profiteering and racketeering of the Central Bank of Nigeria, NNPC, the biggest cartel ever in the history of Nigeria recorded, that grounded the economy. Mm -hmm. CBN have no power to hijack uh, public uh, individuals' account. The change of the currency, the redesign of the currency, crippled the economy of Nigeria to its knees, up to the community level. People cannot bring out their chicken to sell it, nobody to buy it. People lost their memory. What happened? What was the foundation of where we are today? Those that specialize in farming are no longer farming. Under two circumstances. One, the insecurity scared them from going to their farms. Two, the cost of fertilizer is beyond their purchasing power. Now, how do you compare the two? You remove subsidy on petroleum. You do not put subsidy on fertilizer that produces food for, for the entire country. Not too long ago, this same country fit almost the entire West African coast. When Medugri was in peace, you see hundreds of trailers supplying food to West African coast from uh, Benin, I mean, uh, all the borders, Ogun, uh, Benin Republic, and what have you. Hundreds of trailers taking food to West African coast. We have a population of about 250 million, which is a plus for any nation. But when you cannot feed the population, the population turns against the country. You have graduates. Their parents sold their property to send them to school. You did not provide any hope for them, no job for them. The private sector is dead. People are running out. Is it not a man-made disaster? It's a man-made disaster. It's a policy, it's a fair policy issue that have no human face. Less than 1% of 1% of Nigerians are looting and milking the country out. And they are known. Some of us that have worked with government, we knew clearly it is practically impossible for someone to steal one naira in government establishment mm -hmm. without the connivance of the financial sector of that particular ministry or agency or parastatal. It's not possible. It's zero percent possibility. Everything is traceable. Because the structure of the system of government, there is no warehouse where free money is being kept for anybody to pick. Now, the entire health sector is dead. Our, our, our best medical personnel have left the country. Yesterday, somebody came from Kefi. He was telling me Federal Medical Center in Kefi. They have no doctors right now. They have all booted out of the country. Go and check the statistics. The doctors that left Lagos, left Kano, even University of Ibadan, the premium university. My national secretary, who usually go there for me, told me that most of the doctors have left. On what ground? Was it that Nigeria is so wretched? We cannot improve the welfare of the medical doctors. We cannot improve the welfare of the security agencies that are dying for the country, to save the country. They don't have gadget to operate. They don't have tracking system. People will be kidnapped ram randomly. I see we are just a banana republic. There's no rules or regulations. And yet some of these security agencies are the best in the world. So our problems are entirely a man-made disaster problem. So it's easy to fix it because it's a man-made issue. It's not a natural disaster. 
what the leadership needs to understand is to go back and have a very fundamental retreat having meeting with the governors making proposals will not solve the problem because they are part of the problem the government injected billions of palliative into the states you should go and find out how many people benefited from that palliative some of them one measure of rice the most privileged ones are the ones that got one bag of rice who are, are close to the government how many billions were spent if they spend that two two billion they gave to states if they spend it in training plumbers in nigeria in training electricians in nigeria in training people in fashion industries and buying sewing machine and designing machine in training messes in training uh, welders do you know how many millions it will take off the streets 